In Miku Miku Moving, it is possible to automate certain tasks by using plugins. While there isn't an exact guide on how to write them, there is a partial documentation available. There is also a plugin pack that is open source, so you can learn from that too. I will be talking about the plugins from that pack, but only about the ones I was able to understand. In order to install the plugin pack, go to the GitHub repository, follow the download link, download the zip file, extract the files, and put the files into the Miku Miku Moving plugin folder. Plugins. The first four plugins are rather simple. Random Blink plugin. This plugin registers blinks at random intervals between the selected start and end frame. It's useful to quickly add some life to your model. Detailed status plugin. When turned on, it shows the current position and angle of the selected bone. Detailed time plugin. It shows the accurate time of the current frame. There's also a second number that increments every 15 frames in 60 frames sections. This can help with getting the timings right. Revert frames plugin. Reverts the order of selected keyframes. Nice to use when trying to break up the motions and seeing whether the reverted order looks better. The next three plugins are a bit more complex. Apply noise plugin. Randomizes the position and angle of the selected keyframe. The first three values are key interval, creates keyframes between the selected keyframes based on the selected interval, noise interval, which doesn't seem to have an effect, key width, randomly moves the keyframes back or forth based on the value. Unfortunately, it also doesn't seem to work properly. I suggest setting these values at zero to avoid unwanted side effects. The second three values are for the maximum change in position, and the third three values are for the angle. The checkboxes will change the coordinate setting from global to local. There is a bug where the first selected keyframes turn into not a number values that can make Miku Miku moving crash when moving to those keyframes. Just make sure to delete those starting keyframes and replace them. As the name suggests, this plugin can be used to add some noise to keyframes that would otherwise move a bit too perfectly. Apply offset plugin. Changes the position and angle of the selected keyframes. While moving the sliders, the changes will be visible in real time. Like before, the checkbox will change the coordinate setting from global to local. This can be used to quickly correct motions that were originally made for other models, or reposition already made loops without having to manually change every keyframe. Beat based copy plugin. Copies the selected keyframe based on the beats per minute. The first value start, this seems to do nothing. The second value, BPM. The BPM will be converted into frames per beat. The selected keyframes will be copied on those frames per beat and start counting from frame zero. If you want to calculate the FPB or BPM manually, here's the formula. Third value, leading beat. Sets the starting offset, which is calculated by multiplying the value with the FPB. Fourth value, interval beat. Multiplies the FPB by the set value. Increase the distance between the copied keyframes. Fifth value, count. Sets how often the selected keyframes are copied. As you might have guessed, this plugin is useful when trying to sync your animation to the beat. You can use online BPM finders to find out the BPM of a song, but it also works well with the apply noise plugin. Choose a low BPM like 30 and apply noise to the generated keyframe. This way you can quickly generate noise for idle background characters or layer it on loops to make it less repetitive. Outro. While Miku Miku moving is isn't maintained anymore. It is still possible to create plugins for it. And even if it's unlikely for more plugins to be developed, the existing plugins are already really helpful and should be installed to make your life easier.